In this video, we will discuss a recent experiment I performed, where I used a large zero-shot text classification transformer model to label training data, which I then used to fine-tune a small supervised model that ended up performing well. Now, if you have experience within NLP research and believe that this idea is or is not original, then please email me, and let's get right to it. Here's a full article I've published on my website, venify.ai. I've included a link to it down below. If you scroll down, there is a diagram that explains the overall process. So given unlabeled data, we may want to produce a small text classification model we can deploy to production without requiring lots of resources like a GPU. And using this proposed method, we will take this unlabeled data and we will provide it to a large zero-shot text classification transformer model. Now, this model requires two inputs, a set of labels, so a list of strings, for example, positive, neutral, and negative. And then it also uh, requires a text input. So in this case, an example of an unlabeled uh, case could be a Reddit comment. So given a Reddit comment and uh, a set of labels, it then outputs a score for each one of the labels. And then using this process, we can use this labeled case to then train a small supervised model. Let's discuss the experiments in more depth. So I use a data set called the Stanford Sentiment Tree Bank version two data set. And this data set contains movie reviews along with whether or not they are positive or negative. And I use the validation portion of this data set to compare the performance of two different zero shot text classification models right here and here. So, uh, both of these are available through the Hugging Face Model Distribution Network, and at the time of this experiment, these were the top two most downloaded zero-shot text classification models. So one is based off of uh, Distill Bert Base Uncased, and the other one is based off of Bart Large. And as expected, the Bart Large model uh, performed better with an accuracy of approximately 88% compared to approximately 76%. Moving on, for the supervised model, I used a naive Bayes classifier and I implemented it using a Python package called TextBlob. Now, uh, naive Bayes classifiers use traditional NLP classification techniques, so these require significantly less resources than deep learning approaches. And if we scroll down, I then use the training set of the data set and without looking at the labels, I generated labels using the zero shot model. And here is the performance for the supervised model after using the generated training uh, cases. So after 1000 training cases, the supervised model uh, achieved approximately 68%. And after 8000 examples, it achieved approximately 76%, which if you recall, is about the same as the Stilbert base uncased zero shot model. But of course, the naive Bayes model uh, requires significantly less resources. The zero shot model inevitably mislabels some of the training cases. So I wanted to measure how large of an effect this would have on the supervised model after training. So here is the supervised model's performance using the generated labels from the zero shot model. And here is the model's performance using the actual labels from the data set for various number of cases. And as you can see, the performance is approximately the same. This is quite interesting, as it shows that at the very least for this set of data and for using a naive base classifier, that using the actual labels does not improve performance too much compared to using generated labels that are approximately 90% accurate. So this means you can use a zero shot model instead of using humans to annotate uh, your data, which of course is a lot more efficient. Let's briefly discuss some different ways the overall process can be improved. I suggest you read the full article for more details. First off, we can use a more powerful supervised model. I've already played around with using the Stillbird base uncased as the supervised model. And although this is a deep learning model that requires a lot of resources to run, it is still much smaller than a large zero shot model like Bart Large. So you would still get a lot of the same benefits as discussed when using a smaller transformer model as the supervised model. Uh, moving on, thresholding. So with thresholding, we can reject some of the 
cases that do not have a high certainty, which has obvious improvements as it results in fewer mislabeled cases uh, making their way into the training data, but it can also be applied to parse through a large amount of unlabeled data to extract uh, data that belongs to certain categories. So you may have a data set where 90% of the data is irrelevant to what you are looking for, but you can apply thresholding to only extract the cases uh, that belong to the categories you are interested in. And finally, iterations. So this means that you may want to start with using 1,000 training cases, and after using 1,000 training cases, you can create an ensemble between the zero shot model and your supervised model. Then you can continue to label maybe an additional 1,000 cases, then use those labeled cases to then fine tune the supervised model and continue this process. In conclusion, it is possible to use a zero shot text classification model to label data and then use that labeled data to fine tune a small supervised model. This allows you to deploy a small supervised model without having to manually label any of your data. Stay happy everyone and I'll see you in the next video.